Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll be taking you through HTML responsive videos and text. Adding responsiveness to a web page is significant because it helps us make it more interactive for the user. In this video, we'll see how we can add responsiveness to a video or text present on a web page. So before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. We have already discussed in the last part what responsiveness is and how we can achieve it with the help of HTML and basic CSS. In the last video, we made an image responsive with the help of HTML only. We'll use the same method in this video for videos and text as well. So let's add a video here first to a web page. And for that, what we'll do is we'll move to the body section of our web page and we'll use the video tag over here. So this is a video. Now what we need to do is we need to mention the source. So we have a video folder present in our system and we'll use video1.mp4 from here. Save the program. And you can see here on the browser that we have this video present over here. You can see the video over here. Now, the size of this video is quite large, right? And it does not have any controls as of now. So let's add those controls here first and then we'll also manage the size of this video. So what we'll do is we'll write here inside the video tag, we'll mention controls over here. Fine. Now, save the program and you will see here on the browser that this video has controls right now we can play this video we can pause it or we can also mute and unmute it from here only so we have all the controls for this video right now fine now what we want here is we want this video to adjust itself according to the size of a browser window for that we need to add a class over here inside the video tag so we'll use the class attribute over here. Let's say the class name is responsive video. Fine. So this is our class name. Save it and you will see nothing happens over here on the browser. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to use certain CSS properties. So what we'll do is we'll move to the head section of HTML document and we'll mention the style tag over here. Now we are going to use CSS property. So we have to access this video first. For that, we have used the class attribute. So we'll write here dot responsive underscore video. So this is the class name. You can see it over here. This is our class name, responsive underscore video. We have used the same class name over here. Now we'll use curly braces over here. And here what we'll do is we'll mention the width first. Width is going to be 100% of the screen. So we'll mention 100% over here, save the program, and you can see the video here, right? Now, what we'll do next is we'll mention min width over here. So we'll mention min width as 400 pixels. So let's make it 500 pixels so that you guys can see the change. Save it now, and you can see the video size is changed. Now we'll mention height here as auto as well, fine. Now we are done with it. So save the program and here you can see we have this video present over here on the browser. The video over here is 100% of the width. It has taken all the width over here. So what we'll do is we'll reduce the size and now what we'll do is we'll see if this thing is working or not. You can see here if we reduce the size of our browser window, the image is adjusting itself, right? So here you can see the video is adjusting itself according to the size of a window fine i hope you guys got it we have used the same min width attribute from the previous video it will allow the video player size to go as low as 500 pixels for now now make it 400 and save it now you can see this size over here of this particular video player is 400 pixels now increase the size of a browser window and you can see the image is adjusting itself right so this is how it works for videos, fine. Choose from over 300 in-demand skills and get access to 1,000 plus hours of video content for free. Visit Skill Up by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. 
let's move ahead and we'll add some text to our web page now so what we'll do is we'll remove this video from here save it now we'll remove this style tag as well now you can see we have some text present over here now let's add some more text to this web page first so what we'll do is we'll use the paragraph tag and we'll write here lorem let's use 15 words of this paragraph press enter and you can see we have a paragraph over here save it now and you can see we have this paragraph present over here on the browser so this text we have used here is a dummy text that we can use a, as dummy content for a web page it's not something that matters to us right now we have a paragraph over here that's all so let's change the size of our browser window first to see the text in a web page actually adjust itself fine so here you can see this is a complete open browser and now we'll change the size from here so you can see the text is adjusting itself accordingly but we haven't used any css properties for it right now right so let's see what we can do with it one thing to notice here is the font size of this text the font size remains the same it doesn't matter if you are increasing or decreasing the size of a browser window so let's write the code here for changing the font size on changing the window size so for that what we'll do is we'll move to the paragraph tag and we'll write here style so we are going to use the style attribute here we are not using the style tag in the head section so things will remain the same actually we are using the font size css property so we'll write your font size and we'll mention here let's say 5 vw fine now save the program and you will see that the font size adjusts itself according to the browser window so if we increase the size of this browser you can see the font size is also increasing and if we decrease the size of this browser you can see the font size is also decreasing fine it is because of the font size property we used within the style attribute it is a css property that specifies the size of the text according to the viewport so you can see over here we have used 5 vw so vw here stands for viewport width fine now viewport refers to the visible area of a web page on a display screen so this is a visible area and here in this case 5 viewport width means that the font size is going to be 5% of the total width so this is the total width the font size is going to be 5% of it fine and now we have increased the width of our browser so the font size adjusted itself accordingly so it's now 5% of this whole width of a browser fine so that's why if we change the size of this window the text size also changes i hope you guys must have got an idea by now about how to make an image, video, and text present on a web page responsive to the display screen. So that's all for this video guys. See you in another session. If you enjoyed watching this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments below. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Simply code. Thank you.